I honestly can't believe that I'm here right now. Well, hello friends and welcome back to the Misty Show. Today's video is a little bit of a travel vlog. Mark and I, there's Mark, Hi. we have been in Kentucky overnight. We did a little bit of shopping, a little vintage shopping, and now we are on our way to one of my, well, honestly one of my very favorite movies and the, watching the movie as a young teenager um, on repeat, I know all, I know this movie by heart, The Coal Miner's Daughter, made me fall in love and made me really appreciate the real person behind the story, Miss Loretta Lynn, who sadly passed away in October and at the age of 90. So she lived a she lived a life. She lived a life. But we're going to go to Butcher Holler. We're going to just meander and spend some time there and take you along with us. But I wanted to just pop in to do this introduction so I can show you a little bit of the drive. Uh, Eastern Kentucky is beautiful. And so I'm going to pop in a little bit of the drive down the way and then we will check back in when we get, when we get to, uh, to Butcher Holler. the Webb's Country Store, which was, well, I'll tell you a little bit more of the story about it when, when we get there, but the internet reception is very, yeah, so just kind of be, have a game plan, look at the map before you go a little bit. There are a lot of signs posted that you can find it, but it is, we're up in the mountains and the hills and the haulers and the internet does go in and out in and out but my goodness it's beautiful here look at how pretty it is we're here in july of 2023 and it is a beautiful sunny day pretty hot and humid but it says this is a congested area up here <laughs> i don't know about that but i'm really excited <laughs> of Webb's Country Store. So this building right in 1918, and it was actually built by, it was like my number five store, I believe is what it was called. And this was built in 1918 by the mine. And a lot of the coal miners back in the day, they would work for basically notes. And then they could use that money to buy things from the company store. You know, you hear that that song about the company store. But um, here it is, Webb's Grocery. Now, Herman Webb was Loretta, Loretta Lynn's brother. And he was a couple years younger than her. He passed away in 2018. But he bought this and ran it for years. And he actually would give the tours. He sadly passed away in 2018. But members of Loretta's family still do the tours and so it's a really I'm really excited to go on to this is very you know people who knew her and are part of her family but this is just this is an amazing thing to see and just to be here in here and the day when this was and probably still is a coal mining place as you know there were three options coal mine moonshine are moving on down the line and Loretta really moved on down the line look at that baby kitty cat mark Hi, kitty, 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 kitty. Oh my goodness! Oh, hi, babies. Sorry, I saw that. Oh, that's cool. You know, I am a vintage and antique dealer, and so seeing these old structures and the old signs, um, and good grief! I mean, could you just imagine? Look at this. The screens on the windows. They've got their burn barrel out there. Look at over here. Look at the roosters. And the chickens. Can you see them? You can hear them for sure. All right. 
So we're gonna go on in. Now this store was actually featured, it was part of, it, were, it was in the movie, Coal Miner's Daughter. There was a couple other movies that um, this store was featured in as well. Oh yeah, they got these images of America. I love these books. They got those inside, but here we are going inside. Oh, it's nice and cool in here too. Welcome Loretta Lynn. Oh look, I see the Colonel. Look, there's a colonel up there next to that turkey. Wow, I mean, just the history. The people that have walked along. Oh, we got some moon pies. This is just so cool. And it has that good smell. Oh look, Mark, there's George Jones. Mm -hmm. So you can see here are some pictures. So number five mine is where Loretta's father and Herman's father and Crystal's father. <laughs> That was the mine, mine number five. And I'm trying to see if they've got any. So this was the part of the, the town. So this is where we're at right now. And you can see the railroad track just ran right on the side of it. That's so cool. And they've got complimentary that makes coffee. Sense where, the, where that door that was all boarded up yeah. on the side was so high. Uh, it was unfortunate. I wonder if that was where Loretta catched, caught the train. I wonder if this was originally the train station where she left when she met Doolittle out in, um, out in uh, Washington because they moved to Washington State uh, right, at, right before her first child was born. Oh, look, Starbucks. Oh, this is cool. Oh, look, there's Ernest Tubb. Oh my gosh, I may have to get me in. <laughs> t-shirt look at yeah i'm gonna have to get me one i think i like that one butcher holler kentucky that's where we're at we got the coal miner oh and there's mr webb mr herman webb that's loretta's brother sitting on the porch of their homestead and then we got crystal gale too crystal gale is loretta's sister so these little pieces, that doesn't feel like coal, does it? So they've got these little pieces here. These are handcrafted from coal in Stearns, Kentucky. I kind of feel like I want to get one as a souvenir. Oh, there's Santa. Santa will put coal in your stocking if you're bad. Oh, look, there's Minnie Pearl. I'm just so proud to be here. That's how I feel. I'm just so proud to be here right now. Oh, look, there's one of her costumes up there. Oh, look, I've been to Butcher Holler. You guys have gone with me to Butcher Holler, so we've all been here, theoretically. Here's some postcards. Oh, look, there's Mr. Webb right there. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna have to get a couple of these. So I am going to get me this t-shirt. And I was looking to see what all we got. We got some Crush and some Strawberry Crush. And Moon Pies, which I am not a fan of. I don't like Moon Pies. But it's kind of a, you know, it's a kind of a thing that you do in the South as a moon pie, but not my favorite thing. In the movie, um, Ted Webb told Loretta and Herman that they could go get them a couple of cans of Vianne or sausage. Do they got any on the show? Mm. No Vianne sausages. No. Well, oh, there they are. Sorry. There they are. They're Vianne sausages. That's what he told her she could get. They also got little penny candies you can get too. Just like any good general store should have. Some little pennies, penny candy, different kinds of candy in here. Mark decided he really wanted to get an apple pie. So he's getting an apple pie. So correction, I was talking to the gentleman in the store and they filmed for the movie inside, but they ended up not using the, the portion that was filmed inside. So that's unfortunate, but yeah, this was a happening place, he said. So we're gonna go by her schoolhouse where she went to school. And you know, she was married by when she was 14. So she, you know, that was her education. And um, we're probably even gonna go see the coal mine. The coal mine is no longer operational, but I think it would still be neat to go and see. So we're gonna hit up a few more places before we go to the to her homestead. I am not for certain, but the gentleman in the store told us, uh, oh, okay, here we go. This was the number five mine right there. So this is where Ted, Loretta's father worked and do little, he worked there for a little bit too. 
so this was where the mine was. You can see it's so grown over now. It's, I, as I asked the, the man in the store, is it still in operation? He was like, oh, no, 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 no. So you can see, um, I'm not sure what this con consign mine, I'm not sure. But it, it is uh, the number five mine. Well, that's nice. But here we go. Wow, this is amazing. All the history. Boy, and all of the men that worked in those mines. Lungs full of coal mine. Wow. Lungs full of coal. It's amazing to see. Amazing. Okay, we pulled off again because you can see right here, there is the Butcher Holler Rock. So down this road is where we're going to go to Loretta Lynn's home. We are going to pass the schoolhouse where she uh, was was schooled up until the age of 13 or 14. Um, oh, there's a butterfly. Oh, how pretty. So, um, yeah, this is, I, it's kind of strange how badly you wanted to see a rock, but we're seeing it together. You can see the music notes on here and some people have left little rocks there. That's cool. All right, now we are driving up to the little one-room schoolhouse. We can get out and look at it. You can just kind of drive around in a little loop. But look at, it's on cement blocks. I think the guy in the store was saying that they've been trying to raise it every year, that it keeps flooding. Oh, oh no. it just keeps getting worse and worse every year. All right, I'm gonna get out and look at it real quick. Hey, I was like, is that the mountain house right there? I'm not gonna walk over there and find out, but um, so it's just like this little holler here, and this is the one room schoolhouse. Um, and then the gentleman in the shop was saying that they raise it every year because it floods. I'm certain if they get heavy rains, this whole holler probably floods pretty badly. But the little one room now, I don't know for sure if this was just a school or if it was also a church. It To me, it looks like it was just a school because there's not a steeple anywhere on it. But I'm not certain. I'm not certain. And I don't know if this yellow was the original color. But, um, I know. I'm like, are, is this coal? Look at it. That's a piece of coal. That's my souvenir. That is a little piece of coal. That's like shoal. But I think that's coal. I don't know. And maybe it's not. Don't li don't don't come at me in the comments. But it's still a souvenir from Butcher Holler. It's all boarded up. I'm not certain if it's even safe to go in. Look at the little chimney up there. You can see how it's all on cement blocks down there. And we're not far from the number five mine at all, like maybe a quarter of a mile down the road from the mine. But this is the schoolhouse. It's beautiful here. It's so quiet. Beautiful. So I think that's shoal, but that's coal. Oh, this is like an artifact. Aw, Loretta, I got some of your coal from Butcher Holler. This is gonna be like my little lucky, my little lucky coal. My little lucky coal in my hand. You know, it could have been used to, you know, to heat this little, this little schoolhouse here. And I wish if it's even still in existence, but I would love to find the big hill of red dog that Doolittle drove his Jeep up. It's probably all grown over, but you found some more pieces of coal. We don't need it. Oh well, like yeah, we'll take others, a couple pieces. You know, take all the pieces. Well, I can, I can give them away as giveaways. So we're gonna do that. So I will pick a random comment. I got two other pieces of coal. So we will do a giveaway, and I will send it to you for free. Comment I'll, coal. You get a comment coal. Comment Cole, C-O-A-L, not C-O-L-E. 
but C-O-A-L, and I'll send them to you, from me to you, right here from the coal miner's daughter, Cole. I think that's pretty amazing. I like stuff like this, so yay! Okay, I honestly can't believe that I'm here right now. Like I said, I knew of the movie before I really kind of knew who Loretta Lynn was. And I, it, Coal Miner's Daughter has always been like the like number number one or number two movie for me. And I also love Sweet Dreams, the, the Patsy Cline story. So I really can't believe that I'm here. But let's just take a little bit of a look around us before we go in for the tour. So we are... You know, I'm going to pan around. This is straight up. Okay. And then there's there's the home. This Oh, there's a pupper out there too. There's a puppy out there. So this was her original homestead. Now they did do a recreation of this cabin and Hurricane Hurricane Mills um, in, in Tennessee where uh, Loretta's ranch is. They did do a recreation, but this is the actual thing. Now, she wasn't born. Crystal Gale was born here. Loretta was not born in this cabin, but she moved here when she was a baby. So, this is where she was raised. And I just, I mean, I think of parts of the movie because that's just kind of where I go, but when they were, she was sitting on the hill when she was pregnant and her daddy came and gave her the letter from Dew saying that he had sent the money for her to take her to Washington and then her daddy took her to the train station. When they got married, you know, Loretta's dad made him made do promise that he'd never hit her and never take her far off from home. Well, both of those things happened, but uh, Loretta once had a quote that uh, do didn't hit her, that she didn't hit him back twice. So <laughs> she was a firecracker. Oh, this is amazing. This is stinking amazing. Look at the little bench made out of stone here. Now, you can purchase your tickets from, if you were wanting to pay with debit card, you can pur purchase your tickets for the tour in the web store, or you can buy them here if you pay in cash. And they're $5, five a person, which is, I mean, that's a great price. For something this historical, especially if you're a country music music fan, or if you're just simply a fan of the movie itself, but this is unreal to me. But this is the house here, and look up in the window. Uh, that's kind of creepy. I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of creepy, but I like it. I like it a lot. Hi, girl. Hi, sweet girl. Oh, it's such a wonderful breeze coming through. She remembers well the well where she drew water. I wonder if this was the same well. We'll have to ask. Oh, this is amazing. I can't believe I'm here. I am walking up the steps on the Red Lynn's house. Butcher Hall. Oh, this is amazing. This is amazing. I kind of want to just lay around on the floor and just roll around on it, but I won't. Because that would be awkward. Wow. This is amazing. Wow. <laughs> amazing. Amazing. And like I said, you can buy tickets here at the house, $5 in cash, or at the general store. You can pay with debit card. Can I sit in the... Oh, sure. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to sit... Now, this isn't the original one, but I'm no, going to sit on the... The original's in the house. I am going to sit on the porch swing of Loretta Lynn's cabin. Hi, Mama. Mark, I'm sitting on the Loretta Lynn's porch. Mark. Huh? Are you Daddy? Are you Papa? They, these both were dropped off together. Oh, bless their hearts. Hi, honey. He might be Daddy, too. <laughs> Hi, honey. You're friendly, buddy. Is it okay to step in? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we'll start right over there. We'll oh, there. my God. So, okay, let me just get for reference here. I'll look and see. So, this is the front door, and then we're walking in. Okay. Oh, my <laughs> word. And I will be filming the tour. She told me that I could. Oh, my gosh. I, I kind of want to cry.
I mean, I didn't think I was going to get emotional, but I kind of am. Mm. Okay, I'm going to get the camera off of me. There's Crystal. Brenda. Her name was Brenda. And there's Miss Loretta herself. I mean, a lot of people have written, and they're not, they don't allow you to do that anymore, but this is the original wallpaper. This is the door that goes upstairs where the kids' bedrooms were, a couple of the bedrooms were, but she'll explain that on the tour. And I know there's, this fireplace, there's another story about the fireplace too, but my word. Oh my gosh, look, there's Sissy. Oh my gosh. Oh, amazing. Oh, there's Clary. This is amazing. Oh, I gotta sign in. I gotta sign in. Uh, Loretta Lynn grew up. Her baby sister, Crystal Gale, she lived here till she was four years old, and then the family moved to Wabash, Indiana for work. Uh, but in this house, about 80% of the furniture is all original from when they grew up here. This old swing back here is the swing that they had out on the front porch. Mm -hmm. And the picture in the middle, that's their mommy and daddy sitting in that swing, yeah. Ted and Clary Webb. And then this is a picture of Loretta and her mommy. And it was made at the premiere of Coal Miner's Daughter. They had two premieres here on the East Coast. They had one in Nashville and one in Louisville. And Loretta took all her brothers and sisters and nieces and nephews to those. Uh, I'm her niece, Connie. My dad was her brother, Herman. So we got to go get out of limos and rub elbows Ooh. with the movie stars <laughs> for a couple nights. Now, has everybody here seen the movie Coal Miner's Daughter? She has. Eight not. million times. You go home and watch <laughs> no, it right now. <laughs> In the movie Coal Miner's Daughter, Loretta tells Do the only place you can catch Mommy and Daddy together is in the bed. Well, this was their bedroom suit, so this is where they finally caught them together to ask if they could get married. They didn't have to run and ask Mommy, and Mommy said, go ask Daddy, and back and forth. Loretta finally said, Do sit on the couch and wait till they go to bed tonight, because that's the only place you're going to catch them together at. But it's now this old wooden radio here, that's what they listened to the Grand Ole Opry on. Back in those days, they had no electricity in this hauler, and that was battery packed. Dad said they could only listen to certain programs because the batteries were so expensive that they had to conserve them. Yeah, uh, the road you guys came up on, that wasn't a road back then. That was just a walking path. And if you had anything to drive, people drove through the creek. So you might remember in the movie, they tell Do. He'll never get that Jeep back in this holler to visit Loretta. Well, that was the reason why he had to drive through the creek to get back here. Luckily, he made it. Uh, that old guitar there, uh, that belonged to their daddy's brother. That was their Uncle Carmen. And Dad said Uncle Carmen's guitar was one of the first guitars they had here at the house. He said they all learned how to pick and sing on that a little bit. So that could possibly be one of the first guitars Loretta wow. ever held in her hand. Wow. Now these are pictures of their grandparents. That's their great grandma and grandpa Butcher. The Butcher family is who the Hollers named after, Butcher Holler. And then that's their great grandma and grandpa Webb. Webb is Loretta and Crystal's maiden name, but that's where a lot of the Indian comes from. She had a lot of Cherokee Indian blood in her. Their mommy's dad's up here in the center. That's their grandpa Ramey. And that's the side of the family where Ken and Patty Loveless on. Patty Loveless is a distant cousin to Loretta and Crystal. Uh, her maiden name is Patty Ramey, and she's from Elkhorn City in Pike County, Kentucky, which is just south of here on our US 23 Country Music Highway. This is a picture of Loretta with her very first band. Uh, the little lead guitar picker in that picture, that was her brother, Jay Lee, and he was actually the first feller to get her up on stage and get her to sing. And then on that side of the fireplace, we got a picture of Loretta with Patsy Cline and Cowboy Copas. Oh, the, the wow. dress Loretta has on in that picture, her good friend Patsy Cline gave her. And then above that, that's Loretta as a teenager in this holler. She's in the middle there with the bright red lipstick on. But now in here's their kitchen. When we walk in here, watch your step. It steps up. 
Well, now this was their original coal and wood burning stove. And then this was something my grandma would have never allowed in this house. <laughs> That somebody gave it to my dad. It's part of a moonshine still. <laughs> and this picture here, the feller with the fancy hat on, some of you all might remember him from the movie Coal Miner's Daughter. His name was Lee Dollarhide. He was the moonshiner that got shot and killed in the head of the holler, still in the boys from Greasy Creek's mm -hmm. moonshine. Well, that really happened, and this is a real picture of him with one of his moonshine stills. Uh, the line he was famous for in the movie was it's coal mine, moonshine, or move it on down the line. Yeah. Uh, this is the type of lunch bucket and hat and carbide like my grandpa would have carried in the coal mines. And then this was my grandma's original pie safe, her original Hoosier cabinet and butter churn. Oh my uh, The gosh. calendar there on the wall, that's a Loretta Lynn calendar from 1966. And that's Loretta's twins, Patsy and Peggy. Patsy was named after her mentor, Patsy Klein, and Peggy was named after her sister, Peggy Sue. And here's where they all ate at. Now There's this was their down. kitchen table. Back when they were growing up, they kept all the leaves in it. Dad said it pretty well filled up this whole room. All eight kids could sit around the table. He said Grandpa bought the table second-handed, and when they bought it, it came with a great big old buffet, and the buffet was too big to get in the house, so Grandpa cut it up and made the mantles around the fireplace. Yeah, out. I love that. Uh, my grandma did wash their clothes on a washboard every day, just like the song said, but when she finally got a Maytag, that was it. And when this was first, her? Uh-huh. Oh, when wow. When they first got that, they had no electricity up here. That was gas-powered. They kept that out on the back porch, and you had to kick-start it like a motorcycle. I now, love that. They didn't that. get any electricity up here until the late 1940s. And then when they did, the boys put an electric engine on that, and Grandma got to bring it indoors. Oh, wow. And the convenience of an indoor washing machine. It was probably pretty noisy, too, yeah, when it was good. Yeah, it was, and I, I don't know how convenient that would be. <laughs> Because she had no running water. So she still oh had to pack water in the house and pack water out. But now these old chairs here, I've got four of them here around the table. My dad said a feller across the hill would hand make these. He'd wow. sell them for $2.25 a chair. Wow. And if you wanted the rocker, the rocker was three something a chair. Dad said that Ladder was a whole chairs. lot of money back then, but they were good furniture and they were well worth the investment. And they're still around. They're still you know, around. I mean, yeah. they can't say that for furniture yeah. that's made today. Yeah, yeah, that's my, my dad. I said, Dad, what are you going to do when I become famous? Yeah. You don't have any of the furniture from when I was. A kid. Uh, and Dad said, Connie, that was particle board. It was. <laughs> down in here's the front room. It steps back down. So the, watch your step. All of the the rings on the table. That's the history of it all. Just yeah. I love that 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 that's still there. Oh, there's the mantle. That was what part of the buffet? I was One of the with mantles. the house when they bought. The okay. house was built by John Red Butcher in 1900, and um, they bought it like in 1932. So that room, those rooms were on. Yeah. Mm. My dad said he was probably two or three when they moved here, and Loretta would have been about three or four. Mm -hmm. He said he didn't remember moving here, but he remembered later years people talking about how excited Grandma was because oh, yeah. she was moving to a big house. Yeah. Now upstairs in this house, there's two bedrooms and they run the full length of the house. The boys slept in one and the girls slept in the other. And the upstairs is wallpapered with the old newspapers. Oh. And I remember my grandma telling me how she got Loretta's name. She said when she was pregnant with her, they lived in a two room shack in the head of this holler. And she said on the ceiling, there was a newspaper article and picture of the actress Loretta Young. And she thought that was the most beautiful woman she'd ever seen in her life. So she decided her firstborn girl, she was going to name her Loretta. Wow. And now the pictures on each side of the lamp are my grandparents, Ted and Clary Webb. The baby in both those pictures is Crystal Gale. That first picture, that little tree they're standing in front of, that's this big holly bush tree out here beside the house. Oh, my grandma planted that tree. Nice. Now that's Loretta's twins today, Patsy and Peggy. But we've had George Jones up here, George and Tammy's daughter, Georgette, uh, little Jimmy Dickens, Bob Evans, and Stella Parton, just to name a few. They've all found Butcher Holler, just like you all. <laughs> uh, this is Loretta and Du, and that's when they came up here in the early 90s, and they filmed a special for CMT. 
This is my Aunt Crystal. She is that pretty and she's yeah. about that tiny too. And then this was my grandma Singer sewing machine. Now grandma told me she sewed many addresses out of feed sacks on this in the day. She said she always tried to go with grandpa when he went to get feed so she could pick out the prettiest feed sacks to make the girls dresses oh. out of. And then this old record player here, this belonged to their grandpa. Uh, my dad told me that uh, when their grandpa would come to visit, he'd always bring it with him, and he'd set it here in the middle of the floor and let the kids crank it and play records on it. Uh, he probably, Dad said he probably did that to keep them out of his hair. <laughs> <laughs> but now this was my Aunt Peggy Sue. Yeah. She co-wrote Don't Come Home A-Drinkin' with Loretta. Oh, I um, didn't know that. Yeah, oh, she wow. had several top ten hits in the 70s. She sings back up for Crystal now, so if you ever catch oh, Crystal in concert, wow. you'll see Peggy Sue perform. And then this was my Uncle Jay Lee. He was a little feller. I told you was the first one to get Loretta on stage and get her to sing. When she signed her first recording contract with Decca Records in the 60s, they signed him at the same time. He had several top ten hits. He had one song on an album he put out, and it answered back to Loretta's song, Don't Come Home A-Drinkin'. <laughs> the song he cut was called, I Came Home A-Drinkin' to a Worn-Out Wife Like You. Oh, and I'm sure wow. I'm sure Loretta flogged him over that. Uh, these two pictures here, they were taken the last time we had a family reunion here at this house. That was all the brothers and sisters living at that time. And that's Loretta, Crystal, and my dad. And that's Crystal's hair going around my dad. Oh my gosh. In that picture. <laughs> Does she still have the real yeah, long hair? Yeah, she's still got her long oh, hair. Wow. That's her trademark. And then this uh, is a print of a painting that Ronnie McDowell did. A lot of people don't realize that besides singing, Ronnie's a wonderful artist. He came up here early one morning and went through the house taking pictures. And he told my dad, he said, I'm going to do a painting for Loretta. Well, he gave her the painting, and this is a print of it, oh, wow. and it's called Reflections of a Coal Miner's Daughter. And that's Loretta as a little girl standing in one of the chairs, looking into the mantel and seeing her reflection as a country oh, music my gosh, star. That's I just think he did a beautiful job with that. And then this is a picture of my Aunt Crystal when she first started singing, and she was about 15 years old in this picture. And my dad and my Uncle Don had this band in Wabash, Indiana, and they would play behind her on the weekends. But if you notice this picture, it says Star of the Indiana Jubilee, Brenda Webb. Well, her given name was Brenda Gale. And when she signed her first recording contract, the record label said, you got to change your name. We've got Brenda Lee on our label, and we don't want two Brendas. Well, she was all upset, and her and Loretta were driving around Nashville, and she said, Loretta, I don't know how to rename myself. Well, they passed a Crystal fast food restaurant. <laughs> and Loretta said, Brenda, you like those tiny Crystal burgers? And she said, well, yeah. And Loretta said, well, then I got a pretty name for you. We're calling you Crystal Gale. Mm -hmm. So that's how she got her stage name. I said, it's appropriate name. It's really good. But she was named after a fast food restaurant. Wow. This and in 2005, nice. the city of Paintsville, Kentucky, <coughs> gave the Webb family the key to the city. So if you guys happen to get over in Paintsville and get locked up, give me a call. <laughs> <laughs> but now this is Loretta's obituary card from her funeral in October. The back page of it, they did the handwritten lyrics to Coal Miner's Daughter, oh. which I thought that was really a nice touch. <sighs> But thank you guys for coming up here. Did everybody stop at our store on your way up the road? Yes. <coughs> We're yeah. going to yeah. stop, stop on, on your way, way back. back down. There's a couple of Loretta's dresses in there. The blue one in the back, she actually handmade in oh, the wow. 60s. And in the very back of the store, I got a great big coal miner, and he's carved out of a beech tree. Wow. And he's painted black, so it looks like he's carved out of coal. That's so cool. Okay, so this is just this was amazing and I and I and I told her and I thanked her for continuing to do these tours I know that they're pretty you know repetitive the 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 porch swing the porch swing that's amazing that they have that porch swing and you know like I said in the kitchen just the or in the dining room oh look at look at all of the look things in the closet that's underneath the stairs that goes up to the bedrooms and then just all of the things and here's the miner's helmet but I just wanted to show again like the all of the wear on the table and all of the water rings and just the history and all the conversations that happen around this table 
on the ladder back chairs. This is just, this is, this is amazing. It is absolutely amazing. Oh, wow. Well, this was an amazing tour. This was amazing. And I know you probably see me in a lot from <laughs> like touching things and feeling things, but my goodness, I mean, all oh, just it's just history and I'm such a history lover and I'm such an entertainment industry history lover that this is just a magical place you can see five dollars per person mm -hmm. I love it it's so cool so I mean it goes without saying if you were in this area you got to come here you got to come if you're in the eastern Kentucky area. In fact, there was some people that were in here on the tour, and they live 30 minutes from here. <laughs> they, live, they lived here for 50 years and, and never never, never came on the tour. But it's a very informative tour, and you get to see 80% of the items inside are things that were there when, um, when she was living. And this is the tree inside when you see the picture of Loretta or Clary and Ted and the baby is in front of this tree. So Loretta's mom, Clary, planted this tree. They got holly bush around it. I mean, oh my gosh. I just, this is just, this is just so wonderful. What'd you think, Mark? Wasn't it great? It was great. We're standing outside of the Coal Miners Museum, but Van Leer Historical the Van Leer Historical Society. But look, there's a jail. This was the jail. I don't now. I don't know when, but I'm assuming it was in Loretta Lynn's time. But look in there. That there is a toilet. That is. And so inside, there's like a cage inside this in this seam brick building. You can see the windows are barred up over there this is locked so we can't get inside but you can see see that white light right there I think that that originally hung from there I don't know I mean this is just you know has nothing to do with Loretta well I mean it's in her town but I just think that that's cool that is just cool I don't know what this building originally was well I mean the back part of it was the jail but the van Lear Historical Society Coal Miners Museum. You can see up there. Still right here in Butcher Holler. And we have these gentlemen, they're looking for Loretta Lynn's house too. The Needle Building. I don't think the museum is open today. Oh, this is cool. And then over here, Van Leer Historical Society. And then a tribute to the men and women who worked in and around the coal mines at Van Leer, Kentucky. And then over here, we've got a salute to the men and women of Van Leer, Kentucky who served in the armed forces of our country, USA. So, again, if you are in the Eastern Kentucky area, or you're going to be coming through and you love country music, or you just like in the entertainment industry in general and the history, you got to come here. You got to come here. And, um, so I'm going to go ahead and end the video. Uh, thank you guys so much. I hope that you enjoyed this. And, um, if you haven't seen coal miners daughter, go, go watch it. It's, it's lovely. My husband and I watched it last night again. He, he doesn't care about things like this as much as I do, and he enjoyed it. So go watch it, and it's it's pretty accurate, you know. It, it, it's, it's, she wrote the story. It's ad adapted from her biography that she um, had wrote. So um, go see it. Go check it out. Thank you guys so much for going on this journey with me. Uh, don't forget, comment Cole in the comments, and I'm going to give away two of those pieces from of Cole from butcher holler so thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like this video share it with your friends subscribe and i'll see you in the next one bye guys